have a local group here in town, and they are extremely busy making sure food gets from farm to table just about no matter where you live. So we have Jabron Jones here. He is executive director of Hosco as well as the North Sarah Food Hub. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you so much for bringing us all these tasty bites here. Thanks for having me. So let's first start with the farm. Hosco, tell us what you have here in the box. Uh, so in the box, we've got a few items. We've got some kale, red Ursula kale. We've got some squash, uh, yellow squash. We've got some Mexican zucchini. Mm -hmm. Uh, red onions, white onions, and uh, some cabbage. So is this these are typical. What we would get in one of those boxes? Uh, this is this is typical of what you see in one of these boxes for this particular time of year. Okay. Um, we switch it out obviously as the year uh, changes, the season changes. So we switch what goes in the box, and then we also uh, at, at times we pr put uh, prepared meals and um, consumer packaged food. So things that we make in the box as well. So let's first start with the farm part. How yeah. does Hosco work with local farms? So Hosco works with local farms by um, um, doing farm training, uh, but then we also purchase from those farms. Um, so we, we really believe in supporting local farms and we want to purchase from as many local farms as we can. And the produce that we get from those farms, we turn these into uh, prepared meals for seniors. Oh, I'm so sorry. What does Hosco stand for? Hosco stands for Holistic, Organic, Sustainable, Cooperative Organization. So our elders here in this community, they get organic food. Yes. All right. All plant-based. Very critical. Yeah. So in terms of the North Sarah Food Hubs, so we're going to bring it a little bit back more into the city. Okay. Uh, uh, we have pictures of lots of people hard at work yes. inside the kitchen there. Tell me about that. Yeah. So we have a staff of about uh, 26 to 28 people. Um, and they are responsible really it's not me it's them that's doing all the work so they're producing all the meals um, we have a very uh, amazing chef um, chef callahan carter uh, who is in tr control over all of our uh, food services uh, so all the meals that go out he approves the meals he develops all the recipes uh, in addition to that um, Kelly uh, Williams, who's our director of operations, she makes through makes sure that the logistics and everything work out. So where the meals are going, um, as well as helping to manage some of the contract food service projects that we have, like um, some of the stuff we're doing with BJC and diabetic meals and whatnot. Okay, so we do have these gorgeous you know, packed meals here. Makes me just want to grab some of them and go. These are typical of the meals that you would send to yes. the seniors. To the seniors. Yes, okay. these are typical meals we would send out uh, to the seniors. It's all plant-based. Uh, we also, at times, we add a, uh, a dessert with it as well. Mm. Uh, so you can see we have some squash. Uh, we've got some uh, plant-based chorizo um, burrito, so it's no, no meat in this at all. It's actually plant-based chorizo that we receive uh, from Hungry Planet, which is an, uh, another local organization. Um, and we've got some, um, some rice, uh, some green beans. So we try to focus on providing really, really healthy food for people. Now, we also have some pictures of some really, 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 really pretty pictures of food that just really made me hungry. Can the rest of us, say somebody like me, can we buy any of the food? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we work with another organization called Copia, which is uh, an online grocery. Uh, Copia. So anything that we produce, we, uh, it's sold through Copia. Uh, also, you can catch us at the Tower Grove Farmer's Market as well uh, every Saturday. Uh, so we have a booth there. So we make a lot of things and we showcase them there. Um, we also work with um, helping to develop uh, entrepreneurs, so food entrepreneurs. And so we also showcase uh, some of their products there as well. So at North Sarah, you guys have been so busy. You ran out of space already and you haven't been there that long. How can the community help you out with that? Um, well, the community can help us out by helping us find another location. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're looking for uh, about 75,000 to 100,000 square feet. Um, we need enough space to grow into. We, the organization um, started 11 years ago, but um, North Sarah Food Hub opened March 22nd of last year. So since that time, we've done over 750,000 meals, wow. uh, over 2 million pounds of uh, produce that's been distributed out to the community. And so, as you can imagine, our refrigerator and freezer space is pretty much full. Okay. So we need very large refrigeration, freezer space. And then as we develop the business further, we're looking to go into um, more packaged food. So we'll need the large industrial machines that will allow us to produce a lot more food locally. Because you are feeding a big community. We are feeding a big community. We will have a link to Hosco as well as the North Sarah Food Hub on Fox2Now.com. Jabron Jones, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for all this tasty food. Thank you, Kim. Feeding the community. We thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate you. Come